okay, so I'm going to, do I just start or do I need to do an intro? Or do I need to say what I'm doing, Annie? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back uh, to another episode of Extra Good Things. Today I'm going to be making a roasted butternut squash in a cheesy custard. And then I'm going to top it with an orange ryu, which is the extra good thing that we can take away and reuse again and again. So you want to find a butternut squash that is about the same dimensions as your pan-ish. Um, and we're going to use half of it. So use the other half uh, for something else. Chop it up, um, roast it, mash it, eat it for dinner. Um, so today I'm, I'm just going to keep the skin on, keep the stem on, and I'm going to cut it into about uh, one and a half centimeter thick pieces. So then you're going to move it to your pan and you want to try to keep the squash intact. Um, you might have to kind of like move them around a little so that it all fits. But that just adds to the cool charm. And then we have these shallots and we're just gonna have them and kind of place them either side. This is a really beautiful dish to have around autumn time, Thanksgiving. You could have it as like a Thanksgiving um, breakfast, even like a brunchy dish. It's very rich um, and really so lovely and special. <clears throat> and then for the seasoning, we've got cinnamon and Chinese five spice. So you want about a teaspoon of five spice. Oh, it smells so good. It smells very festive and then about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Good grind of pepper. And also a bit of salt. And mix that all together. And then you're just gonna pour it over everything. And then this is the fun part. You kind of just use your hands to make sure all the pieces are nicely coated in that mixture. And then once you've done that, you kind of want to rearrange your squash so it is still all nice and kind of together. I promise there is a method to my madness. You shall see. Have faith, dear YouTube watchers. So now I'm going to stick it in the oven. It's preheated to 220 degrees and I'm gonna roast this for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and cooked through. So while that's in the oven, I'm going to make my extra good thing, which is an orange Ryu, it's a mixture of ginger, garlic, green onion, kind of slow cooked together with some chili and sesame seeds. Um, it's a really delicious thing to have in your fridges to spoon onto all sorts of things. So first thing I'm gonna do is pour some of this vegetable oil into the pan on medium. And I'm going to add some finely chopped ginger garlic and green onion here. And you're just gonna let that cook gently for about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want it to color at all, so if it does start to color, just turn the heat down. Um, you just really want it to become very soft and very fragrant. All right, so my mixture has really softened and it's super fragrant now. I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. So I've got toasted black and white sesame seeds in here. I've got Aleppo chili. And I've also got red bell pepper flakes, which are not so spicy. Um, if you can't find them, then you'd have to use maybe a third of the amount of red chili flakes, because uh, red chili flakes are way spicier. And I'm also gonna add the remaining oil as well. And just heat it through for a minute or so. While that's just heating through gently, I'm just going to grate some orange zest. So I'm gonna take this off the heat now. 
I'm going to add my orange zest. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of soy sauce as well. And I'm also going to add a couple teaspoons of orange juice. And you just stir that in. And then set it aside to infuse gently for at least half an hour. You can leave this, the longer you leave it, the more flavorful it's gonna become. So you easily make it the day before you wanna actually use it and it will be really, really good and ready to use. Okay, my butternut squash is ready now. I'm gonna pull it out the oven. And I'm gonna turn the oven temperature down to 150 degrees. So my squash has a really nice color on and the pieces are nicely cooked through, but they're not kind of falling apart. You still want them to keep their structure. So now I'm just gonna spoon out about half of the shallots slash shallots. Um, and we're gonna use these later again and leave everything in the pan. Now this pan is really, really hot. So I'm gonna set it aside to cool while I make my custard because you don't want it to be a super hot pan when you put your custard in, otherwise it's going to curdle. So to make my custard, I've got double cream um, and some chicken stock in this um, pot. You can use veggie stock if you want it to be vegetarian. Um, and you just wanna heat it until it's scalding, which means that it should be steaming but not overly bubbling. And in this other bowl, I've got egg yolks and some garlic. So I'm gonna go with about two teaspoons of corn flour or corn starch, wherever you are in the world. And this will help it from, from curdling. It really helps it keep its structure. And then two teaspoons of white miso. And just a pinch of salt. And then half of the square here. And we're just gonna whisk it all together. Okay, so my cream mixture is scalding. I'm just gonna pour a little at a time and whisk um, until it's all incorporated and tempered. Okay. I'm just gonna go in with all of the rest now. Okay, so I know that my mixture is tempered. If I touch the bowl and it's nice and warm to the touch and my, my egg mixture hasn't curdled at all, you wanna be careful with this um, and add it a bit at a time and whisk the whole time because you really don't want your egg mixture to curdle because you want a really nice and smooth custard. My oven has come down to 150, and I'm ready to pour this directly into my pan. It's kind of cooled down a bit. I can touch it now. <clears throat> and then you wanna get the rest of your gruyere and sprinkle it all over the top of the exposed custard. And then the shallots that I picked out, you just kind of want to lay them on top. So they look really nice when it comes out of the oven. And now I'm going to just pop it in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes until it's nice and set. It's very hot. You know that it's ready because it has a bit of a wobble, slight wobble, but it's also set. So while that's cooling, I'm just gonna chop up some coriander. Uh, you could also use uh, chives or spring onions as well. You just want a bit of green here. So now I have this lovely orange ryu um, that I'm kind of just gonna spoon over. I'm just going to sprinkle over the chopped coriander. And there you have it. There is the five, five spice butternut squash baked in a cheesy custard with orange ryu and it is so delicious and rich and flavorful and you have to give it a go. 
All right, we're tasting. <laughs> what are we tasting, Noor? <laughs> you know what we're tasting. You were know, smelling know, it over I there. I know, it was. Okay. It looks so, really good, though. It does look pretty good, right? Yeah. It's Instagram worthy, when you think. Instagram worthy. <laughs> okay, so now we have to actually dive into it. Mmm. Oh like a cheesy custard, right? Mmm, cheesy custard. And like, make sure you get some extra Ryu there on top. Hit me with the Ryu. Hit me with the good stuff. Okay. <laughs> It's extra good. <laughs> it's mashallah. It's so mashallah. Mashallah. So yeah. So you, you wouldn't make it. I mean, no, I wouldn't. And it's so fast anyway. So like. It is fast. The, wait, V. I was gonna take that home. <laughs> I got that first. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> I've stolen some of Noor's orange Ryu, and as an extra good thing, I'm gonna make myself a bowl of noodles. So I've got some chicken broth here. Um, you can make your own or shop bought, no one's judging. Um, and then I'm gonna add some of this Ryu, as much or as little as you want, it's, you know, according to taste. And then I've got some miso. And I'm just gonna do all of this by taste, because. You know, you don't, it's not really a recipe. A um, little bit of soy. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetness in the form of some mirin, which is like a sweet rice vinegar. Um, and also a little bit of brown sugar. A little bit of lime juice. And some salt. And I might even add some ginger. I think it needs just a little extra freshness. You can add herbs, coriander, anything. All right, so I'm just gonna turn the heat up on this a little bit just to speed things up. And I'm gonna add my noodles. So these are ready cooked udon noodles. You can use egg noodles, um, leftover pasta even. I mean, really anything. Um, rice actually would be nice. I quite like a nice rice soup. Um, so these are pre-cooked, so I'm just gonna Warm them up, ladle some of the broth first. Ooh, yeah. With this, so some extra spring onions on the top, squeeze of lime, there we go. And that's it. One extra good thing using leftover orange rye. So tasty. Mmm, so good. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All the links you need are in the description below. Leave some comments. Let us know what you did with your extra good things. We'd love to hear all of your ideas. Bye. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs>